So which one are you gonna kill, the hook cheater or the typical? Hook's number one. All right, hook's number one. Hook's number one. Hopefully we can find him. Well, this evening wasn't a total failure. We did see one buck, uh, saw probably 30 or 40 does. Um, didn't see the one we were looking for. Uh, there wasn't really a whole lot moving this evening though, because we see. day of the muzzleloader hunt. I forgot the video camera at camp, so it looks like we're videoing with the cell phone. So hopefully uh, he's a long ways away and we can use the adapters. What are we going to do? We're going to kill Hook. Hell yeah. That's fine. Well, first morning glassing had three guys come in here. Um, two on UTVs and one in a Ford. They're all just driving the road, so not too bad uh, for as far as people anyway. Saw about 60 does, maybe a few more, and then uh, Probably a dozen or so bucks, a couple of decent 3x4s, one four point, maybe in the 140s. That's the biggest thing is maybe in the 40s. But uh, yeah, about a dozen bucks, so we just got to find the two big ones that are in here and uh, then go get it done. What do you think our chances are? We can find them 100% until we find them. It's in. Stop to look for deer, and there's a coyote bedded at about 314 yards up there under a tree. Ashton's going to sneak up the ridge and get a little closer to about 250 and see if he can get it with his muzzleloader. He sighted or shot at 250 before, but uh, he's only shooting about 5-inch groups. So, we'll see if he can get him. So Ashton and I were driving up the road here to check a water hole um, day before yesterday and spotted a coyote bedded under a tree and he shot at him at about 240 yards with his muzzleloader and missed. Didn't have my remote and my collar and my mouth calls with me otherwise I would have just tried to call him in because he had no clue we were there and uh, so I thought on the way out today I would stop and call one in and I got him. Don't know if it's him or not but I got one. Just laying over there under the tree. Maybe a quarter mile from where uh, we saw the one under the tree, so let's go pick him up. You know, it worked out just perfect. He came in and uh, walked right behind this tree here. Gave me time to uh, get my gun up because I was sitting right out in the wide open in the sun. There wasn't really anywhere good to sit. So anyway, not a real old dog, but probably this year's pub. A pretty dog though. Two. Yesterday was fairly successful. Had our first successful drone flight. Didn't crash it like I did the day before. Um, we saw probably 250 deer and maybe what, like 15 bucks? Uh, a couple of real close to shooters, but not quite. And then we did see one buck, I guess, uh, that we never really did get a look at. We knew he was a buck and really didn't get a good look, so hopefully we can find him this morning. But what did the weather do all night? It rained and it blowed and it rained and it blowed and it's still blowing. So I hate the wind. Garrett hates the rain. I hate the wind. It's going to make it tough glassing today. Well, got a pretty good buck up here. Uh, real tall. Good back in on one side, kind of weak on the other. It's just, well, he's a four point, but barely, just barely crab claws in the front. But that's Ashton's type of buck. He loves three points with big back ends. And uh, I hate him because I think they look retarded when they fork in the back on a three point. But anyway, um, he's way over there. His freaking ball joint on his uh, passenger side, upper ball joint on his Toyota broke this morning. So 
I drove in, dropped him off. I came up around the corner, and uh, we're going to go fix that later today. But, uh, yeah, hopefully his buck stays in the spot where he beds down and we can find him because he might want to shoot him. Ashton's upper ball joint broke this morning. Uh, luckily we didn't make it too far out of camp. I mean, he's right here and camp's right there. So anyway, uh, he's gonna go walk some ridges and check some bedding areas and see if we can find some of the bucks that are coming in. And uh, I'm gonna fix this. I don't know if you can tell or not, but that passenger side tire is not quite sitting right there. side you can see that that's not right and neither is that that ain't helping either that's the uh, the bolt came out for the upper control arm that ain't right either Hopefully I got the tools to fix it here. This is the MacGyver of all MacGyvers. I needed a 10 millimeter wrench, and it was the only one I didn't have to get this brake line off. So I smashed a penny in between the nut and the wrench to make a 7 16 fit. There you go, Mike MacGyver. Ashton's 400 put back together. Brakes are going to be a little squishy because it leaks some brake fluid out, but uh, should be all right. And it's been here for less than 48 hours, and look what's under the hood. There's a damn bird's nest here in 48 hours. That's retarded. You got fresh green stuff in here. So I know it's not an old one. That's crazy. All right, break it down for me. It's been rough. We got pictures of bucks from a week ago till now, and we have yet to see one that's on the camera in person until right now. And he's sweet. He's like 160, straight forward. It's just pretty as you can get. So. This was the same buck I saw the Monday before the hunt, and we had finally found him. It took us a couple days, but we didn't have enough time to get on him that night, so we had to go look again in the morning. Well, we got a good buck. I can't tell if it's the one I saw yesterday or not. And then there's another one in here, hopefully, that's uh, in the same area. But anyway, Ashton's about ready to poop himself over here. <laughs> Gonna go try and get it done.
together and uh, took a shot at about 240 and missed and then he stopped again somewhere around 300 and uh, shot and missed again so we're gonna go around the canyon go pick him up on the other side and hopefully he can find him and get him on the other side of the canyon we'll see what happens though here's a bunch of the bucks that we had coming into the water um, Ashton and his wife ended up sitting the water that evening uh, from about two o'clock in the afternoon all the way till dark I uh, saw a few little bucks come in and a whole bunch of does, but no, no luck with the big one. Uh, we ended up seeing a couple of really nice bucks the next day, but he was running out of time and had to go back to work on Monday. So they decided to go after this little buck we spotted on Saturday morning. You go kill something? I'm waiting for Ashton to kill something, yeah? buck dude you just smoke that thing nice shot buddy Woo! nice shot buddy give me five good job brother dude that was so sweet he just freaking rolled nice job buddy about dang time it's been since i was 16 years old since i've killed the deer i mean he's not the biggest deer he's not the deer i missed yesterday but my wife's watching me through the spot and scope and that's all that matters Out of shape or fat and out of shape? Uh, both. <laughs> All the above. Nice work. Let me get down there. Dude, I net shot him. He didn't move at all, dude. Pick him up, see what he looks like. Nope. He's slobbering. <laughs> nice job. Nice work. I can actually hit something with the muzzle loader. You can. Yeah. Woohoo!